Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Dwayne DJ Sprague on the line, and he is CMO over at Trust Brands. Uh, DJ, welcome to the show. Thanks, Adam. It's exciting. So I'm excited to get into our topic today. I mean, proven strategies for growing your business by building trust. I mean, who doesn't want to do that? I'm excited to get into your take and, uh, and your method. Um, but before we do that, let's uh, give the audience and myself a little bit more about your background and what you're doing over at Trust Brands, please. Sure, absolutely. Uh, Chief Marketing Officer, uh, Trust Brands is really a umbrella company for four different SaaS-based technology tools. All help build trust and credibility for brands. Therefore, Trust Brands made sense as the uh, umbrella brand name because everything we do drives trust on behalf of our clients, trust being the most important critical decision-making factor in any purchase decision. So without trust, nothing happens. I love it. Um, I'm a fan of branding. I'm a fan of how you're doing it and what you're doing, and I think it's a great um, transition. Let's just get right into the topic. So three proven strategies for building trust. Um, where do you want to begin? All right. Well, let's start with flipping the question. When you're looking to buy something online, Adam, I'm sure you do a lot of that. We all do. Absolutely. What do you look for? What, what are you um, looking I look, for? I, I like reviews. I look at a lot of reviews. I do. Um, that's one thing I look at before I um, before I buy something. I'm like, uh, Amazon has all my business, and if I can buy it on Amazon, I'm going to do it immediately. I don't care. And, uh, yeah, I look for some reviews. Okay. Well, you're not alone. <laughs> National research says that 95% of shoppers read online reviews before making a purchase. Another study says 97% of shoppers say that reviews influence buying decisions. And a third uh, study says that 72% of consumers don't take action until they've read reviews. So reviews are huge. Nobody goes to a restaurant, nobody buys a car, nobody buys a pair of shoes until they read customer reviews, right? I mean, that's just what we've become conditioned to do. So strategy number one is what we call social proof. Uh, psychology calls it herd theory. Herd theory says that we like to follow the herd. We like to follow the proven path that others have gone before us, and they've basically vetted the products and or the vendors on our behalf. Therefore, we don't have to worry about making a bad decision because 4,782 people have already bought that pair of shoes from that vendor, and they all say, this is a safe bet. Good quality, good price, good value. They deliver on the promise. Great. I can spend my money here with confidence. So we call that social proof, or in psychology theory, herd theory. Uh, there's also uh, a component behind that we call popularity. People like to buy from popular brands, popular companies, popular merchants. Again, part of herd theory. If it's popular, it must be good. In fact, many universities globally have done studies around this, and they say that we are fundamentally uh, looking for shortcuts. We're fundamentally lazy. So we look for social proof. We look for popularity as signals of trust uh, to buy from certain brands and vendors. And that's why franchises and chains and, and big popular brands do so well because of that popularity and that herd theory. So item number one, build social proof. Get lots of positive reviews about your company, your products, your brand, your website. Without that uh, social proof and that popularity, you're fighting an uphill battle. I love it. Um, let's get right into number two. What's number two? Okay, number two. So you're on that website and you're going to put in your credit card information, your name, your address, your phone number, and all that personal information. Gives you a little bit of heebie-jeebies, and you start to wonder, is this a secure website? Am I going to get scammed? Is somebody going to skim my credit card? Is somebody going to steal my personal identity? Right? Mm -hmm. So what do you look for? 
Uh, I look for maybe a secure credit card graphic that they could have copy and pasted, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest that's, here, that's, DJ. You asked me. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> well, uh, the, the, the truth is we all do, right? I mean, and you look at that thing and like, okay, well, they could have copied and pasted that little like, what do I know? <laughs> uh, but, you know, there's, there's pretty smart people out there. But you're right. You're absolutely right. They look for that secure uh, website security seal. So one of our products is TrustGuard. The beauty of that is it's got a little pop-up. You can click on that. It will actually tell you uh, that this is an active website that has been scanned that day for malware and, and viruses, et cetera. So you know that that website is current to date, uh, and it's not just a, uh icon that somebody – scraped and pasted on their website because this is an active icon. You can actually click over and see the security seal, which is housed on our website. So it gives you that sense of security. Again, we're looking for mental shortcuts. We're looking for ways to expedite a fast, easy, confident decision. So we look for the social proof, and they would look for a secure website, a secure checkout process. Love it. Um, Making sense so three? far? No, I, I love three. it. And what's number three? Okay. Number three, you've got to get a lot of reviews. The more reviews, the better. Why? Because if you have a lot of reviews, you can afford to then distribute those reviews onto multiple review platforms. Google's great, but you've got to go beyond Google because people, especially when they're getting into specialty items and expensive items, they're going to do their homework. They're not going to take just one site's word for mm-hmm. it. They're not going to just look at Google reviews or just Amazon reviews. They're going to look at multiple review sites. They're going to look at, uh, you know, dealer rater. They're going to look at uh, consumer affairs. They're going to look at piss consumer. They're going to look at uh, Yelp. They're going to look at Amazon. They're going to look at your own website reviews. They're going to look at multiple sources to look for a continuity in the story. They're going to make sure that what they're seeing initially is replicated on other sites across the web, right? And I'm sure you've done the same thing. Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm in. I'm in. I, I want. I got to check reviews. Um, so that being said, with, with, um, with reviews, let's, let's stick there for a little bit longer. So with reviews, um, what, are, what are good ways to manage that? Meaning I, there's a lot of different companies, different ways to look at reviews. If you're restaurants, they say Yelp and these other things. But like the amount of platforms for reviews, it's just – it's a lot. Like, what is there a number? Is there a magic bullet? Is there a range? Like, you could spend literally your whole life trying to get reviews on a million on these platforms. There's so many of them. Um, what, yeah, what's your thoughts on that? Is there like is there, is, there, is there a thought on that? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a fantastic question, and, and not to sound too biased or salesy, but Shopper approved, which is our. Uh, review generation. I want you to. No, tell us. I want you, I want you to be salesy. Tell us why and tell us why people should use it. I mean, if it's good, it's good. That's what my audience wants to hear. They're not listening to this for fun. They're listening to it for Absolutely. resources. So tell us, why is that a good site? Well, I'll tell you why. Shopper Approved collects more reviews than any other review generation platform because of mm. a proprietary review uh, process that actually collects seller or merchant reviews as soon as they complete the checkout process. So as soon as they do that, they get a pop to ask for a review. The beauty of that is it generates 8 to 40 times more reviews than any other review generation platform. The other beauty of that is that it's collecting those reviews in a very simple, easy, fast method. People don't have to go anywhere else, click on anything else. It's literally just right there in front of them. Now, the beauty of that is statistically, if you collect more reviews, you're going to get a higher average review rating. Why is that? Because if you go to a Piss Consumer, Ripoff Report, My Three Cents, Trustpilot, et cetera, they're what they call open review platforms, which means anybody in the world can go there and leave a review. They have to do nothing other than, you know, log in and leave a review. They don't have to show any proof of purchase, which means it could be a competitor it could be the upset customer and their 10 friends mm-hmm. all bombasting that company and basically dragging their reputation into the mud. So these open review platforms that don't show any proof of purchase do more brand damage than good. So, for example, 
uh, you can do a Google search for Nike reviews. Now, we all know Nike is a highly revered, high-quality brand, but you go to these open review platforms, and they have a one- and a two-star rating. Mm -hmm. How is that? <laughs> it's because a handful of upset people and competitors maybe went there to bombast this iconic brand. So and you take see the same an example way. of how this would work. So if, you're, if somebody had this software, how would this work? Like take, like take me through a customer experience of yeah. how easy it is. Absolutely. So if the website has a software, it's all maybe installed, it's running in the background, customer checks out, immediately a pop-up comes up and says, would you please leave us a review? They click on the number of stars, then they talk about their purchase experience, which is a Google mandate. By the way, we're a Google syndication partner, one of uh, eight companies in the country that are Google syndication partners. And... After that, you can then ask, ask any other question you want. Uh, what did you like about this part of the website, or this part of the service, or what do you think about this, what do you think about that? So you're getting a lot of great customer intel. The other beauty of that is that the more questions you can ask and the more questions you can get answered, it creates what we call user-generated content, or UGC, which is a search engine optimization terminology. That goes right on your website. All those great reviews, all those great responses that are more detailed and specific about why people like doing business with you, why they like that product, why they like your company, that goes into the search engine optimization component. It helps drive your online visibility. Okay? Now, they receive the product a week later, two weeks later, they get an email. And the email will verify their receipt of the product and then ask them to leave another review about the product. So now you have a seller review for Google Seller Ratings and a product review. They can also leave a video review at the same time. So you get a seller review, a product review, and a video review. Wow, uh, that's and amazing. Component. And you were going to hold that back from us, from, and from <laughs> me in the audience, because you didn't want to be salesy, DJ. You better tell everybody about this product. That's amazing. You know how much time people spend on this stuff? That's, that's great. Um, oh, so now I guess, the, I guess the big question is, what if somebody's not buying you just want them to leave a review? So if somebody comes to my site, they listen to the podcast, and I want them to leave me a review, how do I do that? Come on, help me out you here, can't, DJ. You, you can't do that. <laughs> you okay, can't do sorry. that on Shopper Proof because here's the beauty of it. It's only verified customers. Only but, verified I but I don't but I don't but it's not a sale. I just want to leave me a review on the podcast. Okay, fine. <laughs> well that's the the reason for people that are selling stuff, but for people that that's aren't right. okay, I got it. All right, no, that's it's right. okay. It's okay. I'm gonna I'll find something to sell on my website so that I can use your software. I like it either way. I'm in. <laughs> Um, so, DJ, if somebody is listening to this um, and they want more information or they want to connect with, um, with your company, um, what's the best way for them to learn more about uh, Trust Brands? Trustbrands.com. So, you go to trustbrands.com, you'll see all of our four companies there. You can link out to the individual product websites, sign up for free trials, demos. Uh, we're happy to answer any questions, you know, send you overview videos. We even have a free ebook on local reviews. So if you're a brick and mortar company or a retail company, uh, we have another product for that called Local Reviews and a ebook that's titled The Impact of Local Reviews on Profits and How Do You Use Reviews to Drive uh, Traffic to Your Retail Store. Fantastic. Well, hey, DJ, it's been awesome having you on the show. Um, great times here. I love the work that you're doing over at Trust Brands. Um, so good stuff there for your clients. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, uh, leave us some comments on the video. I want to hear more about what you thought, but I also want to hear what you think about our discussion today. So reviews, social proof, um, a secure process, let us know about what you think there, and I'd uh, love to keep the dialogue going. Don't, don't let it die here. Let's, let's move it to the YouTube community. And uh, DJ, thanks again for coming on the show.